guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a DIY bin cage for a small hatchling or juvenile turtle or tortoise. So as you guys know, recently, um, I recently rescued a box turtle and I was completely unprepared and it was completely unexpected. So I actually didn't have a tank or anything that I needed for him at the time. So my sister and I decided to put him in a DIY bin cage, which worked perfectly for a couple weeks just till we could get him a tank. This is a DIY plastic bin cage for a small hatchling or juvenile turtle or tortoise or a very temporary setup for an adult tortoise. It is not, however, meant to be long-term housing for an adult turtle or tortoise. Just a quick disclaimer before we get in the video, turtles and tortoises are huge responsibilities and can live a very, very long time. In no way, shape, or form in this video am I encouraging you to go out and buy a turtle or tortoise or pick up one off the road. I am just simply wanting to educate you on their care, hopefully entertain you by showing you guys how me and my sister took care of Koa for the first couple weeks that we had him, and also show you guys different ways that you can take care of a turtle or tortoise in case you were uninformed. Okay, with all that said, let's get into the video. So the first thing that you're gonna need for this video is obviously a very large tote. You wanna make sure that your tote is not see-through as well as it's also big enough and tall enough so the turtle cannot escape and also have plenty of room to walk around for the temporary amount of time that you're gonna have him in there. As you can see, my sister and I have decided on this very large blue tote from Home Depot and it worked perfect for this DIY bin cage. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure to get is a proper substrate depending on the species of turtle or tortoise that you have. This particular DIY bin cage is going to be for a box turtle, so Eco Earth is the substrate of choice for us. However, if you have a tortoise, you're probably going to want to go with a dryer bedding, like an organic potting soil, or what else do they use? I don't remember. You may want to go with organic potting soil, or maybe some sort of an organic dirt, or something that stays a little bit on the drier side for your tortoise. So after you have your tote and your substrate, you're also going to want to get different accessories for the tank. We decided to get a spider plant, which is non-toxic to box turtles. However, you are gonna have to research depending on what live plants you wanna put in your turtle or tortoise enclosure. We also got a terracotta pot for Koa to go in and hide. Turtles and tortoises love to hide, so it's great to give them a hiding spot away that they can crawl into in case they get too hot under their basking bowl or if they get scared or something just to kind of escape to. It's also very important to put some sort of rocks or bricks or slate inside your turtle or tortoise enclosure. Not only does it help them naturally file their nails down, but it also if you feed them on it, it can help them keep their beaks trim as well. As you guys know, unfortunately, Koa's nails were extremely overgrown when we got him, so it was a little too late for these rocks to do him any good but they are in his enclosure now going forward now that his nails have been trimmed. You wanna make sure that you're feeding your turtle or tortoise on a rock or slate or terracotta to keep their beak trim as well while they're eating and that will trim it naturally so that you don't have to worry about ever taking them to the vet and getting that trimmed down. Another thing that's very important when setting up your turtle enclosure is making sure that you get a proper basking light. I decided to get a ceramic Flukers dome for Koa's enclosure as well as a mercury vapor heat and UV bulb. The thing that I love about these bulbs is while they are on the more expensive side, they give you both heat and UVB in one and that is so important and you want to make sure that you have a ceramic fixture to screw that bulb into so that it doesn't overheat and cause a fire or anything like that. Another thing that's important to remember is humidity, depending on what type of turtle or tortoise species that you have. Now, whether you have a semi-aquatic species like a box turtle or you have a drier living species like a tortoise, Poe is a box turtle, so we will be keeping his enclosure at around 60 to 80% humidity. Whereas if you have a drier living species, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to keep that humidity much lower so that they don't develop any respiratory infections. Once you have everything you need, your large tote, your bedding of choice, depending on the species of turtle or tortoise that you have, proper rocks, some live plants, a really good hide spot, and of course their food and water dishes, then you're ready to set up your enclosure.
video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about how to build a bin cage and a temporary enclosure for a very small species turtle or tortoise. Remember that this bin cage is meant to be a temporary housing until you can get something larger. Also remember turtles and tortoises are a very huge responsibility and they are a very costly animal to get started with. So be sure to own responsibly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.